Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here with another game in my wretched Phillies season as it drags on. The Phillies come into this game 21-43, and 43, and they're playing the Cubs. The Cubs come into this game 36-31 and 31 in the 2020 um, replay. It's not really a replay because we're playing 162 games, and they didn't play 162 games in 2020 because of COVID, as you're well aware. But uh, we'll just refer to it as a replay. So um, today's pitching matchup will be Kyle Hendricks on the mound for the Cubs, and we're sending Mr. Zach Wheeler up to the bump to try to take a win here and get on some kind of a winning streak. Now, You'll recall that the last video, if you're following this season, the last video I put out was a 60 game mark video. I did get some helpful uh, hints and things to let me know why possibly the Phillies are underperforming as they definitely are. And so I will try to do what I can to avoid those pitfalls. We've hit into more double plays than uh, the actual Phillies did in 60 games, so I will try to do a little bit of hitting and running, bunting, maybe uh, stealing. The thing is, and this is the problem, it's that's not really the Phillies' forte. They're a team of DHs, so bunting and hitting and running and stealing, it's not really something that they do well. Uh, but apparently we'll have to try to do more of it to avoid double plays. Um, so, and that was, I mean, and there was a couple of other comments. So, you know, we'll see what we can do. I will go over each lineup as the lineups come up. The visiting team is the Cubs, so they're batting first. And so uh, their lineup will be Jason Kipnis leading off and playing second base. Ian Happ will be the second batter and playing center field. Jason Hayward is the right fielder batting third. Rizzo is at first base and he'll be in the cleanup spot. In the fifth spot is uh, Chris Bryant. He's in left field. Schwarby is going to be the DH. Wilson Contreras is the catcher today batting seventh. Baez will be the shortstop batting eighth and... Il Damaro Vargas will be at third base for this game, batting ninth. So they are going to face Zach Wheeler, so let's get on with this game. Uh, that is a 211 against a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field for Kipnis. He's out, one away, and as always, I keep the uh, scoreboard here the uh, you know what inning it is the top or bottom of whatever inning and the scores will be on top of these cards uh, that uh, are the original the holders for the cards um, anyway Ian Happ is up with one down and he gets a 2-8 and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher so he goes out one to three there's two down quickly for Mr. Wheeler. Wheeler not coming in pitching very well. <laughs> and his last two starts were horrible. And Jason Hayward is the batter. And he gets a 2-7. Everybody in the two column. And that's a fly to center. So that's going to be an F8. And the Cubs get no runs. We go to the bottom of the first. And the uh, Phillies will uh, bat this way. Hazley leads off and plays center field. Gregorius bat second at shortstop. McCutcheon will be the third batter and the left fielder. Harper is going to bat in the cleanup spot and be right field. The fifth batter is Bruce, the DH. Then Goslin, the second baseman today. Real Muto will be the catcher batting seventh. Baum is going to be at third base, batting eighth. And batting ninth will be Hoskins, the first baseman. So Hazley is going to come up. He gets a 2-4, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out 1-3. One, one away. And Gregorius. Gregorius gets a 6-11 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. 
And uh, Hendrix, Hendrix with the K. And Andrew McCutcheon is the third hitter. He comes up with a 310. That is going to be a an out. It's going to be a, uh, let's see, what is that? It's going to be a ground ball third. So he grounds out. It's He goes five to three. And the Phillies get nothing in the first. We're moving right along briskly here. The next batter for the Cubs is Rizzo. Rizzo stepping in against Wheeler. And he gets a 4-9 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2-E-20. That is a 16. I believe that's probably an out. And it is. It's going to be a 6-3 for Mr. Rizzo. And that brings up and that brings up Chris Bryant, who's now on the Rockies in real life. 111 is a hit by pitch. So he gets hit. Wheeler hits Chris Bryant with a pitch. And uh that isn't good. That's bad news, because you know, once once the floodgates open with Wheeler, they open. Schwarber is up. There's one down and one on. And uh, that's a 4-4 batting left, and that's going to be a, let's see, that is going to be a single. He just barely laces a single. Moving Bryant to second. And that's what I said, the floodgates, here come the floodgates. Wilson Contreras is up. He gets a 5-12 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman's a 4-E-11. That is a 7. 7 and 4 is going to be, surprisingly, a ground ball C. So that will move runners over to second and third. And there's two down with a man 90 feet away and another one 180 feet away, if my math is correct. And Baez is the back. And he gets a 1-5, which is going to be a fly ball to right. So Wheeler escapes the damage that could have really been done right there. And the Cubs come up with nothing. We go to the bottom of the second. 0-0 zero, zero here and Bryce Harper, the batter. And he gets a 4-6 batting left. And that is going to be a strikeout. And if you know anything about uh, Kyle Hendricks, he is traditionally a righty who's better against lefties. So, uh, and that's, you know, I mean, I've got him and it's a problem for me in one of my leagues. Actually, two of my leagues. Bruce is up and... Uh, he gets a 6-3 batting left, and that is going to be a an out. It's going to be a line out to second base. And there's two down, and that brings up Goslin. Goslin with a 1-8, and that's going to be a ground to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3. The Phillies get nothing. We're moving around. We're moving along. And we're going to the top of the third inning in a 0-0 game between these two. Ildemaro Vargas. And he gets a 6-8. Maybe you can't see it completely, but that's what it is. A 6-8. And he would be batting left. And that would be a walk. So Ildemaro Vargas works himself on base with a walk. For Wheeler, that's the first walk issued. And there's a man at first with no outs and Kipnis up. And Kipnis gets a 4-8 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball second base double play. So at least we pulled a double play off. The old 4-6-3 type. And there are two down with... Ian Hatch is up, and he gets a 5-8, and that is going to be batting uh, batting left, 
And that's going to be a ground ball second base. He is a 4. That is an 11. He is a 4E11. So we're going to have to roll the dice because I think that's on the dice. That's on the uh, air rating. Yep. And that is a 6. 6 on an 11 is... A ground ball A. So Goslin makes the play, and he goes out for three, Hap does. And there's no damage. We go to the bottom of the third. We are in a 0-0 game here in the bottom of the third inning with Real Muto, the Real Muto, coming up. He gets a 1-5, and that is going to be a single. So Real Muto gets our first hit. That's ironic because he's been having a terrible season. But he is aboard now. And we have Bomb up. And so now here's my here's my point. Um, Real Muto's a stealing C. Now that's not terrible, but it ain't that great. And Bomb is a bunting D. And he's a hit and run C. So I'm just going to bat him. And uh, 610. 610. Uh, for a righty is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is a 4E24. That is a 12. So let's see what that is. That is going to be on the air rating, air 24. That is a 5. So what we have is we have an E1. So that's going to be a one base error. Now we have two runners on. So now I'm thinking, do we have anybody who can't? All right, so that was an E5. Do we have anybody that can bunt now? No, we don't. We have Mr. Hoskins, who is a D. And you don't want Hoskins bunting anyway. You want him to try to go yard. I mean, frankly. So 5-9 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. He strikes out, and that is the third strikeout Hendricks has, has booked today with one down. Adam Hazley. Hazley gets a 5-3 batting left, and that's going to be a... Ballpark homer, and it is. Hey, well, I'll, wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold your horses. No, against a righty, he does have normal power. So that is going to be a, uh, oh, wait a minute. Yes, he's left. Yes. All right. So he, he does have normal power, so that's gone. Hazley with a homer. I would never have thought I'd see the day, but it happened. We have a big lead. Now, you know, we can debate whether three runs is a big lead, but for this team, it's a big lead. So Hendricks allows a hit, only the second hit that he's allowed, three runs, only two earned, and a home run by Hazley. And Gregorius is up. Gregorius gets a 4-5 batting left. That's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. And so that's two down. And McCutcheon is the batter. He gets a 3-3, and that's going to be a ground ball to first. So McCutcheon's out, and we have to go get the three spot. Where is it? Here it is. Get the three spot for the Phillies, and we're up 3 nothing. That error was pretty key for the Cubs, and now they're going to be batting in the top of the fourth and try to get at least one of those runs and maybe more of them back. Ian Happ is the, uh, no, no, it's Hayward. Hayward is the batter right now. He gets a 4-6 batting left, and that's going to be a fly ball to right. There is one down, and Rizzo is the batter. Rizzo gets a 2-11. 2-11 is a ground ball to the second baseman, so he goes out 4-3.
He's 0 for 2 on the day, Rizzo is. And Chris Bryant's up. And he gets a 3-4, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So he also goes 4-3. And the... Um, The Cubs get no runs in the fourth, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. And we're leading 3 nothing. You might be witnessing history here. We might win this game. Harper is the batter. 3-2, and that's going to be a walk. So he works his way aboard. And that is only the first walk issued by Hendricks today. Jay Bruce is the batter. Jay Bruce gets a 2-4, which is going to be a ballpark homer. And yes, it is. It is a ballpark homer for Jay Bruce against a righty. There it goes. It's flying over. It's got its own zip code now, area code, whatever you want to say. And Bruce gets a home run that knocks in two more. And this, my friends, is what you expected out of this Phillies team. Um, well, maybe not quite this all the time, but um, you get the point. And that's a second homer allowed by Hendricks. He is just getting taken to the cleaners, and Goslin is the batter. No outs. And that is a 112, which is a line out to third base. So Goslin lines out five. There's now one down. And Real Muto, the batter. Real Muto gets a 1-7. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3. And the bombster, Alec Baum, is up. And he gets a 4-7 batting right. And that is going to be a an out. It's going to be a line out to third base. But we get two more runs in the fourth inning. And so now we got to go find the five spot. And I found it very quickly. And it is five nothing Phillies with the Schwab master up. And he is going to be the leadoff hitter here for the Cubs in the top of the fifth. And he gets a 6 8 batting left. And that is going to be a walk. So the Schwab man is on a board. And that is a second walk issued by Mr. Wheeler. With Contreras back, he gets a 4-7. That is going to be a fly ball to center, one away. That brings up Javi Baez. Javi Baez, the batter, the shortstop, 3-10. That's going to be a ground ball, second base C. That'll move Schwarby over to second. Uh, but um, let's see. And that brings up Vargas. Vargas with a man at second and two down, and he gets a one eight, and that is going to be a line out to second base. And so the Phillies get no runs in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and Hendricks is coming out. Hendricks will only have gone four innings, I believe. Is that correct? That is correct. Four innings, and they weren't very good innings for him. And the Cubs will bring in Rowan Wick. Rowan Wick will be the re next reliever to try to shut down this hot Phillies offense. And they will be sending up Hoskins, and we will be sending up Hoskins as our first batter here in the fifth inning. He gets a 3-6, and that's going to be, Wick is a righty, so that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He goes out 4-3. There's one down quickly. We're back to the top of the lineup. And Hazley, who has homered today? And he gets a 1-11, and that's going to be a hit by pitch. So 
Paisley is aboard with a hit by pitch. Wick hits him. It's got to hurt. Got to shake it off. Gregorius is up. That is the 3-5. That's going to be a pop-out to shortstop. There is two down. And that brings up McCutcheon. And McCutcheon gets 2-6. And what? Are you kidding me? He hits a home run. Home run for McCutcheon. That is a two-run shot, my friends. I don't know what's going on. This is not the Phillies I knew about <laughs> this whole season. But uh, Wick allows a hit, a home run, uh, and two earned runs. And we are just laying it on thick here with Harper as the batter and two down. And he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. So, we do get two more runs. We have to go find the seven spot. All these runs, just for us. It is seven nothing Phillies. And we are going to the top of the sixth inning with the Kipnis as the batter. And, uh, yeah, Kipnis is coming up here in the top of the sixth. And that is a 2-7 for him, and that's going to be a strikeout. Wheeler with only his first strikeout of the game, but he has been pitching like a champ. He's only allowed a hit and no runs. Ian Happ is the batter. He gets a 5-6. That would be batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. He strikes out the next guy. And up steps Jason Hayes, the right fielder, and he gets a 6-4 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He's out for three. And Wheeler is on cruise control. This is not the Wheeler I was used to seeing the last two starts. So surely I don't know what's going on here. Jay Bruce is the batter. And not only that, we have seven runs, like a safe lead. It's like if anything is a safe lead, this is it. Six, seven, batting left against Wick is going to be a... Uh, Ground ball to the second baseman. Their second baseman is a 4E17. That is a 15. That might be an out. It is a ground ball C. So Kipnis makes the play. And uh, Bruce goes out 4-3 in the bottom of the sixth as the leadoff hitter for us. Which brings up um, Goslin. Goslin gets a 112. That's going to be a line out to third base. We already established that because he had that the last time. And uh, he is 0 for 3 on the day with Real Muto, the batter. And he gets a 1 8. And that is going to be a line out to third base, just like Goslin just did. So we get no runs in the sixth inning, although it doesn't really matter because we don't need any runs. <laughs> All we need now is to not give them seven, which I think even Wheeler can manage to do. Uh, Rizzo is the batter here in the top of the seventh. He gets a 6-7 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Wheeler with his, sec his third strikeout of the day. Still only pitching a one-hit. He's pitching a one-hit shutout. Chris Bryant is the batter. He gets a 5-8 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 4-11. That's a 3. That's going to be your first, your second hit. 3 and a 4 is a single. So, I don't know why I kept him up there, but anyway, now the, the Cubs have a man on. Second hit allowed by Wheeler today, as I mentioned. And uh, Schwarber is the batter. And Schwarber gets a 4-3 batting left. That is going to be a fly to right. He is a 2. And that is a 4. 
Um, that is going to be a fly ball B. Fly ball B, that's two down. And Contreras is the batter. And he gets a 6-3 batting right. And that is going to be a single. They have to go station to station. They are not in a situation where they can try to take extra bases and try to be reckless because they got to get seven runs. Javi Baez is the batter. He gets a 6-5 batting right. That is going to be a home run. Yes, it is indeed. So they get three runs right there. And that's, you know... That's the uh, that's the dude we were used to seeing the last few games. He gives up another hit. He gives up three runs on a home run. And um, Ildemaro Vargas is the batter. And he gets a 4-10 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2-E-20. That is a two, probably going to be a single. Let's see. Yep, it's a single. Vargas gets a hit. Another hit. Fifth hit given up by Wheeler. And he was cruising. And Kipnis is now the batter. He gets a 5-5 five, five batting left. And that is going to be a strikeout. And now we go to the bottom of the seventh. And the Cubs got three runs. Let's not let's not uh, let's not take that away from them. It is seven to three. And they're going to take Rowan Wick out. So Wick is done. He only goes two. And they're going to bring in Jason Adam to pitch. And he will be facing Baum as the first batter. Um, and what was that? The Yeah, this is the bottom of the seventh. He gets a 6-3 batting right, and that's going to be a, that, well, it was a ballpark homer, but it isn't going to be. It's going to be a fly ball to left, because it does not fall in the ballpark homer number. F7 for him, and that brings up Reese Hoskins. That's a 3-6, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And that will give way to Hazley at the top of the order. And 4-12 for a lefty. That is a ballpark home run. And it is a ballpark home run against a righty. And he does have the normal power against a righty. And he hits his second home run. Unbelievable. Hazley has just been promoted to lifetime Philly star. <laughs> Even though really he's in the White Sox organization, last I knew now. Didi Gregorius is the batter. He gets a 2-6. That is going to be a single. So a hit, two runs, no, two hits, two runs. And a home run given up by Adam. And uh, McCutcheon is the batter. And he gets a 6 10. 6 10 for a righty. And that's going to be a double to left field. All right, so now we might want to think about sending this batter because, and I don't even know who it is. 
Adam gives up another hit. hit. He's just terrible today. And um, that's Gregorius. Gregorius is a running 1 to 13, but it would increase by 2 because it there was there's two outs, right? There is two outs. There is two outs. So it would have it would increase to 1 to 15. And we're looking at the left fielder. The left fielder for them has a zero arm, so we're going to try it 1 to 15, and it is good. It's a 9, so even if you said it was 1 to 13, he still scores. So that guy comes all the way around, and that is another, another run given up by Adam, and the Cubs pitching has just been horrible today. I mean, it's been abhorrent. And um, so McCutcheon is at second, and Bruce uh, Bryce Harper is up. Bryce Harper with a 6-9 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out. Adam gets the K, but, you know, a little too late because we got three more, we got two more runs, right? Two more, we got two more runs. So now we have nine runs, nine. I don't even know how to quantify that to anybody who has been following this season. We have a 9-3 lead. We are gonna take Wheeler out. Wheeler only goes seven because we're in the top of the eight. Again, if my math serves me correctly, that's what would happen. That's what the situation would be. And we're even going to give some of our uh, not-so-great pitchers some time here. Hembry is going to come in. He has not been very good this year because he isn't very good. But guess what? We have a really, really big lead. And Hap is going to be the batter that will face him first here in the top of the eighth. And we're gonna take that token off of there. And where is the other one? Oh, the other one is over here. So top of the eighth, half is up. He gets a one four against a righty and that's gonna be a ground ball to the shortstop. Hembry is one of those rare guys that you want the batters to roll on their own cards. Jason Hayward is the batter. He gets a 1-9 against a righty. That's a ground ball first base. So that's two down quickly. And Anthony Rizzo is a batter and he gets a 6-5 batting left. That's gonna be a ground to short. Short stops a two, that's a nine. Um, that is going to be on his air rating, though, and that's not good because he's an E20. And that is a 7 on an E20 is going to be a ground ball A. So he does make the play. 6 to 3. And they get no runs in the 8. And we go to the bottom of the, let's see. We go to the bottom of the eighth, bottom of the eighth. And Harper, or no, Bruce, Jay Bruce is the batter here in the, eighth, the bottom of the eighth inning. And uh, Adam is out. Adam probably is already tired. So they're going to replace Adam with um, Dan Winkler. Winkler is going to come in. And he's going to face Jay Bruce. Bruce gets a 1-6. That's going to be Winkler is a righty. That's going to be a ground ball B, pitcher B. One down, and that brings up Goslin. 
Goslin gets a 3-5. That's going to be a strikeout. So Winkler strikes the second guy out. Winkler has been the only effective pitcher for the Cubs today. Real Nito gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3, and no runs for us in the eighth. But here we are in the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth, and uh, Hembry is going to stay out. I'm going to keep Hembry out there because, you know, I like Hembry. He's not good. But I like the guy. So he's going to stay out there. But besides, he got a 1 2 3 inning last inning. So Bryant is the batter for the Cubs. They need six runs right here. He gets a 1 10. That's a ground ball, third base. Again, I'm telling you, if you're the Cubs, you don't want to roll on your own card. You want to roll on Henry's card. Schwarber is up. Schwarber gets a 4 6. Batting left. That is a walk. Case in point. Hembry allows his first base runner here in his second inning of work, which is odd for him. Contreras is up. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right. That is going to be a ballpark home run. And so Contreras goes deep, and there we go. That's Hembry. That is Hembry. But of course, it's off his it's off Hembry's card. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. He gives up a hit. He gives up two runs on a home run. We're gonna see if he can get through the inning, though, because we have a lot of runs to burn here. Javi Baez, and there's already uh and there's already one out, so. He gets a 111. Unfortunately, that is, well, that's a ballpark homer, but it doesn't fall in the range, so it's a fly ball right. And now there's two outs. And Ildemaro Vargas, they're going to pinch hit for Ildemaro Vargas because, hey, why not? And the pinch hitter has to be somebody that can hit righties. So I'll be looking for that. We're going to go with Nico Horner. Nico Horner is going to be the batter with two down and nobody on. Right. And he gets a 1 8, and that's going to be a fly ball to center field, and that is it. And we win. We hang on to win this game 9-5, to five, actually. So let's not, be let's not be deceptive here. The Cubs did get 5, but we walk away with a 9-5 win. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.